أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the beneficent and the merciful In Malmun, dar ahadith sharif ahl bayt mutawatir This idea has been repeatedly mentioned in the holy traditions of the holy infallibles Siddiqiyya Tahiri Hadrat Zahra salawat Allah alayha For example <coughs> Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, has said ما يصنع الصائم بصيام إذا لم يصن لسانه وسمعه وبصره وجوارحه كسكي روزة ميجيره بچه دردش ميخوره اي روزة اگر the fasting will be of no use for a person if he or she does not restrain his manners, his eyes, his tongue, and all other body parts. If a person does not be aware of what he or she does, the fasting is of no use for him or her. The holy month of Ramadan has some special virtues and specialities. <coughs> In one level of fasting, when you fast, you have done your obligation. And you have not, in the case that you do not commit any acts that annul or revoke your fasting in terms of jurisprudence. Once you do this, you will not be held accountable for not fasting because you have done so. However, in his book of deeds, on the judgment day, there are other factors to be involved in order to have that fasting and its rewards to be included in the book of these on the judgment day. This requires the person to not commit any sins or not commit any acts of prohibited prohibition during the time of fasting in the month of Ramadan. And also there is a discrepancy between the forbidden actions and also the detestable actions. The detestable actions do not deserve a punishment, but people will be blamed on the judgment day for committing them. On the other hand, for the forbidden actions, people will be punished. Just take the example of a food meal that is too salty. It is food, it makes you full, but it is salty, it's not as good as it should be. So it is a pity for one to fast during the month of Ramadan, but not commit to this fasting by keeping away from all other prohibited and forbidden actions. If you make a decision, you will be successful to some extent. In a higher level of fasting, you also should try to avoid doing any act that is detestable, not forbidden, but detestable because these observances will promote and elevate your soul. The traditions usually refer to this as guarding your eyes, meaning that you should not look at what is forbidden, to not listen to what is forbidden. Let's say that two people are actually talking to each other privately. It is haram, it is forbidden to eavesdrop. 
غناها و مفاسدی که هست انسان Another example, it is also haram and forbidden to listen to what is considered to be ghana. It is also forbidden to look at what is haram. The Holy Quran also says, tell the men believers to keep their eyes down and protect your body parts. In this holy verse, the Almighty God does not tell people to close their eyes, but also, but God tells people to not look at what is haram and not even look at what is detestable or what is commonly known as makruh. So in this noble hadith, Lady Fatima Zahra says, a person that fasts, his fasting will be of no use if he does not guard his tongue, if he does not say, if he keeps saying bad things to people, insult other people, backbite people, in these cases the, the fasting will do him no good. And also guard your ears and also your eyes and all other body parts. So it is a condition to keep watch and keep all these body parts in check while you're fasting. It is said that once Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, was in holy Mecca, there were some people doing tawaf around the Holy Kaaba. There was a young man who was walking behind a young lady. And this lady, part of her body was exposed. And this boy put her his hand on the hand of the lady. Usually, God does not do miracles in this world because this world is a place of trials and tribulations. We are supposed to be tested, face trials in order to see how we act. However, sometimes God shows some miracles in order to help people to ponder, to reflect on the consequences of their actions. So this young man touched the hand of the lady. But the, the hand of the young man stuck to the hand of the lady and nobody could just make them apart. These two people were taken to Imam Hussein and Imam Hussein recited some prayers and <coughs> The hands were separated. So this is guarding your body parts. 60 or 70 years ago, I saw in Iraq, it was a customary thing. Many shops, they had doors and gates, but they never bothered to lock or close the doors because there were no thieves there. I could see that around the year. It was a normal thing at that time. Many of the shops did not close their doors. There was just only a curtain 
کس که بخواد نسب شب یا عاشقی هیچ کی نیست تو بازار یه چیزی برداره میتونه شاید بعضی هم برداره It was really easy for the thieves to do whatever they want in the dark of night, but there were no de- thieves at that time. Because many people, many people know that God is always watching. When a person understands and comprehends the fact that God is always watching, he would protect his body parts, namely his hand. A teenage boy came to me It was said that he used to steal things from the shops and then during the holy month of Ramadan. Maybe the shopkeepers also knew about him but didn't care. Anyways, he had committed a sin. Now that we are fasting, now that we are suffering and dealing with the hunger and the thirst, we should also guard our body parts. Fasting, according to Lady Fatima Zahra, is not just to abstain from eating or drinking. In other words, fasting in Arabic has another meaning, which is to guarding yourself, to keeping yourself. So fasting is not just about not eating or not drinking. It is also about guarding yourself. All your body parts, your eyes, your ears, your tongue and your hands. And also your stomach. That is not to consume anything that is haram or illegal. These things have been repeatedly mentioned by the holy infallibles. This month of Ramadan will pass. And those people actually guarded themselves like this, as the holy infallibles instructed us. They will be the real winners at the end of this month. If you do not make a decision to do this, if you do not guard yourself against these sins, your act of fasting will be just carrying out an obligation that was levied by God Almighty. And this will not be included in your book of deed on the Judgment Day. Or at least, you know, the rewards of this fasting would be so meager. I hope that Almighty God helps everyone to have the honor to fast in the true sense of the word. And this is only possible by adhering to the instructions of the holy infallibles and keep constant watch of themselves and guard themselves against all sins during this holy month of Ramadan. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.